how do motorcycle engines work? And what are the differences between the different types of engines? I will tell you everything you need to know about them, beginning with the biggest differences and going into the details after that. Stop, have you also wondered what are the differences between motorcycle and car engines? No worries, I'm gonna tell you as well. Modern motorcycle engines are primarily gasoline engines, which are also called Otto engines, named after its inventor Nikolaus Otto. But this happened a long time ago. The petrol engine, similar to the one we know today, was designed in 1876. But so much about history. This is a technical video. Internal combustion engines convert chemically bound energy into mechanical work. This involves burning a fuel air mixture. Through this process, power is delivered to the crankshaft, which makes the engine move. But here's the thing, due to natural laws, complete conversion from chemical energy into mechanical work is never possible. There will always be losses. To make this more understandable, let's draw a sketch. Here's the engine. Then we got chemical energy, which is going into it. In the engine, this is converted into mechanical work. But there are also losses. And here's a little formula. The mechanical work we can actually use is the chemical energy minus the losses. But what are the losses in an internal combustion engine? There are, for example, losses due to incomplete combustion. Then there are losses due to heat dissipations to the surroundings. Then the combustion process characteristics also has its influences. And then of course there's the mechanical friction. These losses play a huge role when we move on to the next point. Motorcycle engines can be divided into two-stroke and four-stroke engines. Two-stroke engines, once dominant in racing, are now on the decline due to exhaust and fuel efficiency concerns. Four-stroke engines are now predominantly used for environmental and fuel efficiency reasons. Two-stroke engines need two strokes to complete one cycle, as the name says, and four-stroke engines need four strokes. One stroke is the piston moving either up or down inside of the cylinder. And one cycle is everything an engine does before it repeats the same steps. The four strokes in a four-stroke engine are called intake stroke, compression stroke, power stroke and exhaust stroke. The two strokes in a two-stroke engine are called first compression and power stroke and second exhaust and intake stroke. Before, I told you about the occurring losses during the combustion process. In the two-stroke process, partly the fresh mixture and the exhaust gases get mixed up during the second stroke, the exhaust and intake stroke. This increases the losses of the two-stroke process, besides some other effects. As I mentioned before, four-stroke engines are the more common ones in modern motorcycles, which is why I'll focus on these to explain some more details. The intake, compression, power and exhaust stroke are completed within two revolutions of the crankshaft. The crankshaft, by the way, is what turns the up and down movements of the piston into a rotational movement. Let's have a look at what exactly happens during the four strokes. At the beginning of the intake stroke, the piston is located at the top of the cylinder, which is called the top dead end. Then the piston is moving downward and the inlet valve opens. Air fuel mixture is entering the cylinder through the intake valve. Now the piston has reached the lowest point of the cylinder, the bottom dead end. In the next stroke, the compression stroke, the piston moves up. The inlet valve as well as the exhaust valve are closed, which makes that the air fuel mixture can't go anywhere and gets compressed by the moving piston. During compression, the pressure and temperature increases. The top of the cylinder is the spark plug. It produces a spark which ignites the mixture. An explosive force occurs, which pushes the piston back downwards and gets accelerated. At this point of the piston, you could consider subscribing. Now the cylinder is filled with burnt air fuel mixture and the piston is at the bottom dead end again. The exhaust valve opens and the gases escape while the piston is moving upward again. After that, the four strokes repeat 
and repeat again. What I just explained is true for every four-stroke auto engine. It doesn't matter how many cylinders it has or whether it's placed in a car or motorcycle or some other vehicle or a machine. And now let's come to the question from the beginning. What are the differences between motorcycle and car engines? When we only talk about gasoline or petrol engines and not diesel engines, there aren't too many differences between the engines in cars and motorcycles. At least not when we talk about the four-stroke work process. However, there are some differences when we have a look at how the engines are built or also the engine geometry. Let's look at a cylinder. In most motorcycles, the bore, which is the diameter of the cylinder, is larger than the stroke. In most car engines, it's the other way around. The stroke, when we talk about it in terms of engine geometry, is the way the piston travels from the top dead end to the bottom dead end. The reason behind that is that most motorcycle engines are designed RPM oriented and the most car engines are designed torque oriented. I will leave you some interesting links about motorcycle engines in the description and you can leave me a thumb up or a sub.